Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the check mark in Excel. So in this case, we have a little list here with our employees and whether they have completed a task. Now we are going to practice inserting a check mark so that we can check it to show that they have completed or have not completed. To do that, the first thing you have to do is check that you have the developer tab in your ribbon. If you do not have the developer tab, you're going to have to insert it because that's where you get the check mark. To insert the developer tab, it will be a little bit different depending on whether you're working on Windows or working on Mac. If you're working on Mac, you're going to want to go to the top of your screen, hit Excel, go Preferences, View, and then in Ribbon, Show, and check the developer tab. If you're on Windows, you will go to any one of these tabs, right click, hit Customize Ribbon, and then you will want to check the Developer tab and hit OK. Once you have the Developer tab in your Excel, you see there's a check mark or a checkbox. Go ahead and click on that. Nothing happens. That's because you have to drag your cursor over to where you want the checkbox. So say next to Dave. We click that, we can resize it, and drag it over here. And then we can edit this text to say whatever we want. Right now it says checkbox 2, we could say Dave or checkbox 1, or we could just leave it blank. So if we leave it blank, we have it here, and then you can see we can click in it and it shows a check. Now that's for Dave. Instead of having to redo that nine other times for our 10 employees, we can simply click on this cell and drag it down and it will copy that to all of our employees. So then we have 10 checkboxes for all of our employees and we can tick which ones have completed the task. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.